and welcome to the I Am Pacifica. I come to you today from one of our classrooms here at our Ladera campus, where learners from our MA Counseling Psychology program are currently in session. Spring quarter has begun, and our campuses are alive with the blooms of nature and enriching dialogues across cohorts and faculty. Here are the latest updates we wish to share on what is happening at Pacifica. I am pleased to report on lots of positive news in the ongoing collaboration and relationship with our regional accrediting agency, the WAS Senior College and University Commission. Last month, we received the commission summary in response to the interim report we submitted last November and to the subsequent review panel held with them in January. The summary provided commendations and recommendations, but required no further action from us until our already scheduled reaffirmation of accreditation set for 2024. Speaking of, our WAS reaccreditation work is underway to prepare for the Institutional Self-Study Report due in January 2024. An off-site review scheduled for April 2024 and an on-campus visit happening in fall 2024. You can continue to look for updates about this process and how community members will be invited to participate. Additionally, our interim provost, VP of Academic Affairs, and Director of Institutional Effectiveness and Learning, Dr. Lorraine Divas Combi, our Accreditation Liaison Officer and Senior Director of Transdisciplinary Social Research, Dr. Peter M. Roycevich, as well as Faculty and Chair of our Assessment Committee, Dr. Nuria Cielfolo, all recently attended the 2023 was Accreditation Resource Conference in Orange County. Dr. Divos Kambi and Roy Savage co-presented on Integrated Institutional Effectiveness, Pulling Resources Together, and Optimizing Analysis. This annual conference offers great opportunities for network with our accreditation agency and learn what other regional institutions are doing. On April 11th, I was pleased to present my first 100-day listening, learning, and connecting to our findings as Pacifica's president and CEO. The link to that presentation can be found in the description of this video. In my report, I relate what emerged from the numerous meetings, surveys, conversations, and data we gathered from my time connecting with all community members in recent months. I outlined six strategic priorities taken from this data that will guide our work as we advance, the progress made to date, and where we are going in the months ahead, including the development of a new three to five year strategic plan a process to begin this summer. Work on faculty concerns and development continues. This month, the consultant firm Stephen Strategy, whom we partnered with to assess faculty workload compensation and its shared governance, came to campus to host a shared governance retreat with faculty, the leadership team, and the board of trustees. Stevens also hosted focus groups with faculty on compensation and workload. We look forward to providing more updates on progress in these areas in the months ahead. We're pleased to announce the launch of a new initiative with the National Center for Faculty Development and Diversity, 
which can provide tools, training, and networking opportunities for faculty, alumni, and learners. Look soon for more detail on this exciting development. Pacifica continues to elevate our presence in the Santa Barbara County communities and within our fields of study. You can see several events, conferences, networking opportunities, and presentations that members of our leadership team and our faculty have engaged in over the last month. Increasing Pacifica's visibility, developing community and global partnerships, and highlighting the great work we do in the world align with our mission, emerging priorities, and the vision to make deaf psychology accessible to all people. Thank you. Thank you all for your continued commitment and care for Pacifica. Until next time, please stay Pacifica motivated, healthy, and safe.